Sanado na isu sini nelhari hai haku nara dun huku tu suku dah ya huku dah aku nara amen dah huna hai hai hara. I said, right now I'm going to teach you what is the wise person's means. That tra gramatong is what I've said. What is the wise person or the gift of the whole? My gift. My gift. Today, you must as eternal fires. The greatest power a mortal can have in flesh is to become a wise person. For a wise person is always respectable towards others. Towards anyone. Death around you. When you are socializing, the gift of Holy Spirit is to shut your mouth, not to name call anyone or slander anyone. Bukari ayakanan niya. Even the world S H U T is, you know, I rebuke that. Thus, T H U S. The greatest power immortal have in flesh is to become talented, to become wise, especially when you are around others, to become and always respectable to everyone, especially to its seniors, and to be compassionate and Responsible to the juniors. Treat everyone with love and respect. For you knew not who is who. Be grateful or thankful for all the good things life brings thee. And be patient when something goes wrong. You have no idea how much these powerful actions can please heavens. The God, the patriarchs. I would say only the patriarchs. Why patriarchs? Because the God is the punisher. The Father is the collections. Until now, it's bats from tax. You know. From uh, those persecutions, persecutions of his children. That even to this very end, we have endured. Even our own families are one of those who kills us in the beginning. For wherever the three or two are gathered, there is the God. Your actions towards towards other can please patriarchs, can please because you have no idea who you are name calling to, who you who you are slandering, you know. Even angels does not like it when angels sees um, when angels uh, someone sees. That uh, some somebody on humans sees their light, the angels showed up to them always in three. Why in three? Because in three, the Lord is with that person who sees spirits. You know, spirits which is. When human in the heart or in the ribcage or chest is pure, hearted. The angels knew this, for no one else can see angels but the one who is pure. No one sees spirits except the pure. 
when you surrender your all your your everything to God let God guide you let me instruct you through verbatim the gods why you are male and female so that you have your own guts you know a courage to do what is what because if you were only a woman you are just a feminine there's nothing you knew not but how to look beautiful all day. How to look, you know, that is the only, the woman only likes to do. Lie, 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 lie. Because that is witches are liars, venoms. You must, these words is, uh, are seemingly useless to you. Love, respect, politeness, gratitude, and patience. Humble, trustworthy. But you know, you have no idea how much power the seemingly simple things hold. Simple words. Love, respect, politeness, gratitude, and patience. To be compassionate, to humble, to trust, to believe. This can take you through the toughest times of life when you have love, respect, gratitude. I am being patient. You know, that word can take you through the toughest times of your life when you are being tested. Because through the taste, test of the angels, that's when they knew when someone is worthy, when someone is deadly, when someone is fruit of good. For only the fruit of good can see the kinds. You know? can see its kinds can see his angels and minds love respect gratitude and patience can let you enter the kingdom to get these words you know, to get these words you have to let thy heart whisper the words into your mind let thy heart whisper these words into your mind. You don't have to speak the word. You don't have to think about it. Let your heart speak. Let your heart whisper words into your verbatim. You called mind, you called brain, you called Holy Spirit. That's how you should and a good servant does. To love, respect, polite, gratitude, and patience. It's what God's looking for in each and every one. Not by preaching the word of God. Profaning his name. Profaning my names. The gift, Isaiah 11, 2-3, is to be compassionate, to love, and to love, to be compassionate. Love. Because if you are love, you get the rest. Respect, polite, humble, gratitude, patience. When you are self-embodied love. 
to trust me, the Holy Spirit spares that are not and was not being seen until he becomes fruitful. You know? Not into worshiping deadly thunderous spirits. Every time you speak the word of God, you are worshiping the deadly thunders. Spirits, you know? The spirits of the thunder, the spirits of the lightning, the spirits of the rain, the spirits of the rivers. You know? I am mesmerized with this beauty. But how I calm it down? Poem, 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 poem. For my patriarchs loves to feel your love through your love letter that comes from the heart. Respect, love, gratitude, and patience. Be grateful. This is the rewards that run into your brains that becomes poems. You called prayers. Prayers is actions. Poems is the whispering words from your hearts to your hollows in the mind. From the hollows of the hearts. That is how prayers works. That is how you call poems works. That is why many calamities are coming into the world. For you have been preaching the words of God. It isn't climate change. It is wrath of God. For you knew not how to respect natures. Natures doesn't mean just natures, women. Natures is within yourselves. Respect. 